All right, here we go. Hello? Hi, Elise. Oh, you look ready. I like this good light. This is what I'm talking about. Hold Wait, on, how are you see. moving? It seemed like you were good. We were okay, fighting I'll... and everything. All right. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Bring the phone up a little bit. What's your name, baby? I'm Ivia. Bring the phone up a little bit. Ivia. Where are you calling me from? Uh, I'm in North Carolina. Okay, don't forget get to bring the phone up a little okay. bit. Hey, I'll back up with me. Okay. All right. I be in North Carolina. How old are you? I'm 33. 33. What do you do for a living? Uh, I am a cosmetology educator at Empire. A cosmetologist at Empire? Yes, yes ma'am. What's Empire? A, a teacher at school. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're not, I'm not from North Carolina. So Empire okay. is a school? Mm -hmm. Okay. Beauty school. So you're a cosmetologist. Um, what's your zodiac sign? Uh, I'm a Gemini. Do you have any kids? Yes, ma'am. I got two kids, eleven and eight. Okay, both by the same man. Yes, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been married? No, ma'am. No. Mm -hmm. So we got Ivia, North Carolina, thirty-three, Gemini, cosmetologist, mom of two kids, by the same man, never married. So as we can see, this is a single mom who has two children. The first red flag is the fact that she is not with the child's father and that is a lot of men's issue when it comes to single moms that are ready to just go out in the street to date, link up, hook up without care in the world and how it, it will affect their children. You know, there's so many questions around it that a lot of single moms don't want to look at and think it's no man's concern. And if it is that man's concern, then he's not for them. A whole bunch of things. But what a lot of single moms don't actually ever think about is, and what they do is they separate themselves from their children. So what's best for the children they see may not be best for them. But what's best for them is best for the children. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Uh, I'm looking for a man of faith, I can say. I know that's kind of weird, uh, on, but it's it's hard to find them. Uh, I've been going through a lot with you know liars and cheaters like the other girls have said. So I want somebody honest. I need somebody that loves the Lord and that is ready to get married and not just play with people's, you know, emotions and stuff. Um, a lot of females ask for a man of faith is because the fact that a man of faith comes with a lot of, a lot of benefits. A lot of benefits that females don't have for themselves. It comes with higher standards, traditional values, morals strong characteristics principles all the things that they failed to have for themselves and failed to find in a man so after all of that all the issues that she's been through in her life that are self-inflicted by the way now she's looking for a man of faith that she can be able to get access to so he can apply the way he's lived his life for her to make her life easier i need a stepdaddy for my kids i guess you want to say so she put just, it out there she need a stepdaddy could he have kids already yes he can that's what i would love uh, and to have his kids already because i don't want to have no more kids okay, okay. a step daddy for her kids now, as I said already, being a single mom is a red flag, whether a lot of females want to hear this or not. But the fact that you would just openly say, I'm looking for a stepdaddy for my children, and there's an issue with that. There's a problem with that. Because to me, it just shows you have a very lazy mentality. Now, of course, when you're a single mom and dating, and you're looking for someone, and you're looking for marriage, he's, always, he's already going to be a stepfather. But to outright say it, it seems as if you don't want to put in any work in actually being the woman that you were supposed to be with the first man that who is the father of those kids why 
was you not willing for him to be the father in those kids life but now you're willingly looking for another man to replace his role why would you not willing to apply all those things in the beginning but now you want a man to apply those things for you towards the end i think a lot of females think it's it's fine it's cool or it's funny or it's a joke or let's just, or let me just put it out there that that's what i'm looking for but it's not it's really unattractive and it just shows the laziness that or how lazy that you've been through your day in life um should he what are your deal breakers um so deal breakers are i could say smokers and alcoholics so <laughs> that's really the only thing and um and i guess like still dealing with their baby mamas and stuff like just i need to know that she's good you're not you know trying to go back and you know circle back and all that females who request for no baby mama drama are the females that are gonna give you baby mama drama they have been that baby mama drama for so long that they don't want to have to deal with it with somebody else they want the man to just deal with their drama with their problems with their toxic habits the same habits that got her here there's no point talking about baby mama drama when you're a single mom your life is already a drama the fact that you're still dating in itself is already problems whether the man has kids or no kids the fact that there's another man out there that's supposed to be raising your kids is already problematic that is a drama in itself. There's a story behind that. Any single parent, you're gonna come with drama. There's no point acting like it's other people when you're the same other people. Okay. Um, should she, excuse me, should he, should he look a certain way? Uh, so, so he has to be as attractive to me, like as, as me. Like, I don't want him to be like too bad. Like, I, he can't be be like just unattractive yeah gotta be attracted to her what about money do you make a certain amount of money uh he has to make a little bit more than me so now i'm doing like he has to make at least uh 50. okay uh, make more than 50 50 or yeah. more all right idea let's do the kendra cam okay mm -hmm. my room You got a body on you. Yes, I'm six foot tall. You're six foot. Yeah, I'm six, six foot. Did you say the guy had to be a certain height? I didn't even say that, but yeah, he can. I do what I would love for him to be, you know, six foot and up. Now, I'm not saying, oh, because the female is overweight, then it doesn't matter if she's attracted to him or not. That's not really what I'm saying what i'm saying is she is overweight and when it comes to looking for a guy that you want to be attractive because being attracted to someone is not all about looks we need to make that very clear being attracted to someone is not simply about looks and if people think that then you have a very small mind you don't actually know what it means to be attracted to someone you know it's, it's very shallow it's, it's it's all very superficial but when someone said they're looking for someone attractive based off looks and you're overweight i find there's a problem there because you're not that attractive and when i say you're not that attractive you're not healthy when you're not healthy you're not attractive anymore when it comes to looks i think looking your best is looking healthy it's not about having the best figure of these beautiful eyes or lips and whatever looking your best and looking attractive when it physically means being healthy and when you're not healthy then you, you can't say you want someone looking attractive when you are not that yourself and what happens is she will get certain guys that actually mirror her they will mirror how unhealthy she is the lifestyle that she's lived because that's who she is so she's only gonna get herself and she will say they're dusties not good looking and that she's settling at least six foot okay yeah. okay yeah. we can see you okay good. um 
Adia, when was your last relationship? Um, with their dad, like his dad, probably like, um, you know, 11 years or eight years ago when I had my daughter. Okay. Bring the camera up so your face isn't cut off. Okay. All right. Um, you know what? Excuse me. I was about to, there it goes. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, probably like a couple months ago. Okay. Okay. Now, here she subtly said the last person she had intercourse with in a couple of months, which really I'm going to say in a week, yesterday, a couple of days ago, was the children's father. So the children's father are still very heavily present in her life and they're very intimate but she will have the nerve to say no baby mama drama i said it that these females i say that are drama single parents are drama it is what it is the fact that you're a single parent means there were drama and there is drama that you're either gonna have to deal with not either that you're going to have to deal with and any man that comes into her life is gonna have to deal with her baby mama drama and her children's father that she is intimate with and we all know how that looks like it means there isn't going to be much loyalty she's still attached to that man and that man is still heavily attached to her but she won't say that she will act very subtle about it and will want the best from a man whether he's a single parent or not she still wants the best from him because he has to have faith in god and has no baby mama drama and be attractive we want the best from a man but she won't be the best for him if anything she will be the worst thing coming was that no i'm just saying like the the manipulating toxic negro that i don't need to mess with no more oh wow so, yeah. okay okay three flaws you have to work on um um so let's see my procrastination uh, <laughs> that's it. um I could say maybe time management, like a little bit. Just be on time, need to be on time a little bit. Um, and just being naive to people, like, you know, just not being as naive. I have an issue with females who don't know their flaws or say they don't have any. What will happen is the men that are going to be in her life are going to have to find out for themselves. Really, in the worst case scenario. It's not like you see it coming. No, you, you're gonna find out who she really is because she don't wanna tell you who she is. When a female says she don't have any flaws or she don't know what her flaws is, know that she's not working on nothing about herself. Know that she doesn't take any accountability for her behavior, for her failures, for her habits, for her mistakes. The fact that she will say time management and being naive, on the top of her head a female should know what her flaws is to be honest anyone should know what their flaws is you should know what you worked on and what you need to work on because you are not perfect that should be quick easy there should be no stuttering there should be no uh i need to work on this i need to work on that i need to work on that you know why because you are working on it you know how to take accountability for the things that you know a man might have to compromise have to accept and deal with and vice versa but these females they don't want to put themselves out there because they think they are more than what they are and they think by hating themselves to be close to perfect they will get close to perfect but a lot of men see through this bs okay and why would a guy be lucky to be with you bro oh uh, because i'm a beautiful sphere i'm a good person a great big heart I definitely um, am ready to settle down and um, just, uh, I'm a good faith, uh, great Christian girl. I just need a real man of uh, God. So He's a real man of God. All right, let's do it. We got Ivia, North Carolina, 33 years old, Gemini, cosmetologist, works for Empire. I just learned people are saying, can't you know Empire? I don't know why I think I should know every single thing in the world. I live all the way in California. I never heard of Empire, but shout out to the people who knew what Empire was. 
It's Papa, what's the age range you would say? You're 33. Uh, so yeah, so 33. I'm trying to think. Should I go up to 35? I can say 35 to 45. Okay. Do you want more kids? No, no more kids. Could he, he can have kids? Yes, please, please have kids. So Could he be in North Carolina? Uh, he needs to be on the East Coast. <laughs> You're on the East Coast, okay. And um, are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? Um, not yet. I'm about to download it right okay, now. Okay, I think your name is I V E A. Yes. So my yes, my um Instagram is yeah. Bailey. So yeah, that name that name is not taken. So we can use I. Uh, you can use I V E A. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. All okay. right. So download the app and create your profile, and that's the way the guys can reach out to you. Okay, sounds good. Bye, baby girl. Best of luck. Another thing as well, when they asked these females, you know, what is good about you or, you know, what, um, essentially what they're really asking is what do you bring to the table? You know, a lot of people don't like this question, but people ask the same thing in their own way, trust me. I get why a lot of females get triggered by it because you know it does almost feel like you're stripping yourself and trying to appeal to someone but that's what everyone has to do in the dating world you have to put your best foot forward and show why the man should want you same way the man has to show you why you should want him why should you have a family with him why should you have children with him and vice versa why should he want you and why should he want a family with you and when you really look at that you have to ask yourself like being beautiful doesn't mean mean anything a lot of time these females will say oh i'm i'm beautiful i'm pretty i'm this i'm that and you know does that really answer the essential questions to why should he be a stepfather to your children why should he be your husband why should he be a faithful man to god and be a faithful man to you and when you really look at that a lot of these females don't actually answer those questions being fun and being beautiful and being this yay person doesn't actually answer that question for any man so a lot of times when i ask them you know why why would it why should a man pick you why why would it be good for a man to pick you they actually don't answer the question because it doesn't answer why he should be a stepfather why he should be a husband and why a faithful man of god should be with you they actually don't answer those questions why should he have a family with you why should he be in your family they don't answer those questions because the truth is they don't have the answers to those questions they still have problems that they are dealing with and that's the only thing they come with i'm your hostess swimminette princess these are my last thoughts i find a lot of females that are ready to marry ready to date ready to find the one they're actually not ready they actually don't even know what type of problems they bring in relationships because they're so used to pinning it to men a lot of these things a lot of these females think that they're ready to have a healthy relationship when they don't even have a healthy relationship with themselves and I think that's the biggest problem a lot of these females have when they enter these type of dating shows or even enter the dating scene in general. Dating apps, you name it. So let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.